Bonjour et bienvenue à la classe de français 3 et 4. So, welcome parents. This is a video for French 3 and 4. Um, we're going to go over what to expect, my grading policies. Most of you have already taken my class, but I do know there's at least two freshmen in here um, who haven't taken it. So, I'm going to give you all an opportunity to... Uh, interact with me, ask questions, and get a better, better understanding of what this class will be like. We're going to start off with a quick example. I'm going to speak really quickly because these videos are turning out to be pretty long. So, on y va. Et vous êtes en français, toi en plus. OK. Qui est Monsieur Kearns? Moi, je suis de l'Ultin, Colorado. Euh, J'aime jouer au tennis, faire de l'escalade. Moi, oh, ça fonctionne pas. Il est où cette image Je ne sais pas. Et j'enseigne le français depuis huit ans. J'aime faire de l'escalade, voyager. Euh, je suis allé à l'université de Gonzaga euh, dans l'état de Washington. Ça, c'est le grand état de Wyoming. Euh, J'adore voyager. Et voilà. So, now in English, flipping that around, who is Mr. Kearns? That was a quick, like, French 1 level, um, although a little quick for French 1 uh, example. Who am I? <clears throat> now the video or the image shows up, but I am from Littleton, Colorado. I grew up here in Colorado. I like to play tennis and rock climb. I coach both of those at Golden High School. Um, I've been teaching for eight years. I I have a master's in teaching and learning. I have my admin license through that. And I like teaching because I like trying to have a positive impact on young people's lives. I like trying to impart some knowledge of the French culture and language, uh, both of which I'm passionate about, um, and just cultural awareness in general. So let's move on. Here's our schedule for next week. <clears throat> you guys are all going to be. Um, let's see, sixth block. So I will see you on uh, Thursdays and Wednesdays normally, but next week I will see you on Thursday and Friday and Monday. Okay. So there will be a Zoom link for everything um, for all of those days on Google Classroom. How do you log into Google Classroom, you think? Well, here it is. French three and four, you guys are combined in period six this year, all right? So it's like half and half, also half of you online, half of you, in, it's all over the place kind of, but we are all together, French three and four in one period. I'm not teaching the same content to both of you, okay? Now, next week when a lot of it is kind of um, procedural, sure, we're going to be completely together, and sometimes that will be the case, but... <clears throat> um, basically, I'm going to be, like, even when you're in person, you need to be bringing headphones and a laptop, or um, preferably a laptop or Chromebook, something like that, okay? If you don't have that, then maybe there's a way you can bring a phone or a different internet-enabled device, but you've got to have something, like, bring it with you every day for my class, because... I, and headphones, that's going to be super important so that you can watch a lesson, you can practice with the language, you can do something on one side of the class while I'm interacting with the other students who are in the other um, period, if that makes sense. Like who, so that French three can be over doing something and I can go work with French four and then I can say, all right, now you're ready to go work on the online and now I'm going to go work with the other, uh, other guys, okay? So. Your classroom code is right there, and your remind code is here as well. Classroom, you go to classroom.google.com. Parents, it's super important that you sign up as parents for your children, please, so that I can send you emails if needed without having to go to Infinite Campus and search for a student and then search for their contact information for their parents and then search for the email for every single person. That's so tiring. So please, um, if you just sign up for Google, then I can click on email all parents of all my classes and then it works, okay, because I can't do that through Infinite Campus. Um, 
the Remind code. If you've never used Remind, you can download the app on anything. You can go to remind.com and your code is either at gold FR3 or at gold FR4. If you want to receive it just as a text message, you text that code at gold FR3 to the phone number 81010. So again, you text at gold FR3 or at gold FR4 to 81010. All right. Uh, what to expect? Lots of Google Classroom, a heavy dose of Google Classroom. Again, um, I got some good feedback from people enjoying having the agenda laid out very clearly and posted daily in the stream. And then the, the classwork is what you'll find in the classwork tab. Like that's where you turn things in. So every day you go to the stream, you see a notification from Mr. Kearns and you'll see, all right, um, I can click through here. And then if I mention anything that you have to turn in, that will likely be then on the classwork tab. So you jump over to classwork and you'll see where to turn it in there. Our hybrid model, in person. On days when your group is in person, those are days that will I will try to be 100% immersive, okay? Often I'll have to split the class in half and, and do kind of an immersion experience and work with one level and then jump to work with the other level. Um, and then when you're online only, like the rest of your class is uh, in person, but you are online, that's when you will be getting an in-depth um, explanation of the structures that we're using in person, okay? And then when we're all online, that's when we will, we will do Zooms uh, every Friday, pretty much, okay? Sometimes we'll do assessments or things like that that are asynchronous, but for the most part, every Friday is synchronous all together. You've got to log in to a Zoom. We'll do like one class half the time, the other class half the time, so it'll only be half the period that you're doing a Zoom on Fridays. Um, but that will be kind of what that looks like so that you get to see your friends and your classmates who might be the B group if you're the A group, all that kind of stuff. You get to interact and actually use the language in a Zoom, okay? Grading policies, the same as last year. So um, what that means is there's two categories, your overall proficiency and then your supporting work to get there. Your supporting work means your quizzes, your homework, your participation, daily business and then your overall proficiency is those big assessments again like showing me that you can for sure read and um read and listen to french that's 15 percent. showing me that you can listen and then respond that's 15 interpersonal communication talking back and forth um and then presenting meaning you're either presenting a video or to the class or you're just writing an essay. Those are all presentational assessments. Um, that's another 15, showing that you can use the language in written or spoken form. And then your final exams are also 15%, okay? So what that means is that gone are the days of like, just making sure you filled out every worksheet and you turned everything in and you got an A, like that, that doesn't, an A in that case doesn't show me what you actually know. So your grade is tied to your ability to use the language, AKA your proficiency, okay? So if you're confused by that, parents, if, if maybe you learned a language in a different way like I did, that's mostly textbook based, I highly encourage you to watch this video. I'm not gonna play it right now because this video is already long enough, but, this video is the first link in Google Classroom. So just log in and you can watch this, which will explain a little bit of why I try to focus on, and most teachers nowadays do this, try to focus on actually using the language versus learning about the language. So we're learning to use and communicate with French, not learning about how French is structured, essentially. Okay. How do you succeed in this model? You've all already seen this, I hope, um, except for my newbies. And uh, so here's what you do in order to do well in this kind of model. 
you need to be bold. You've got to take risks and just put yourself out there. If you don't understand something, speak up and be compassionate. That's going to be super important for everyone this year. Um, you're only going to see like half of each other's faces. So it will be hard to see. We can't see smiles. It'll be hard to understand um, intent and tone. So just be compassionate, assume positive intent. That's what I'm going to really focus on as well. And um, and push yourself to make mistakes. I hope we all make lots of mistakes because we all do in our native language. And that's how you get better. By throwing something out there, seeing if it's understood. And if not, then try again. Okay, but you have to make errors in order to grow. If you make an error and you get shut down by your classmates because they're not compassionate, then you might not want to try again. So it's important to be compassionate and be open. Um, we're going to learn about various cultures, and I hope to include the voices of um, some of the other countries that are not francophone or that are not French. France. Can't talk. Sorry. Um, we're going to try to include francophone, meaning French speaking countries and their cultures a lot more, not just France. OK, and then just try, try hard, do your best speak up and be bold and take risks, and I promise it's going to go well for you, okay? This class might not be easy, but it will be fun, and you will get a lot out of it if you try hard. These are just some systems we use. Um, Google Classroom, as mentioned, which will include those Google Suite uh, applications, Remind, Flipgrid, um, Parents. Some of these are going to be really confusing to you. You'll get a chance to use Flipgrid tonight or today, if you would like to. Okay. Screencastify is the app that I'm using to make this video right now. So here's my contact information. Email me. Uh, make sure you're spelling my name right, K-E-I. OK? Every year, I get people sending emails to the wrong um, address, and then they get mad because I don't respond because I didn't get it. So. Make sure you're spelling my last name correctly, and then I'll get it and I'll respond quickly. I tried to do uh, to do that to my, the best of my ability. Parents, as I mentioned, if you want to try out what the heck this video social like classroom platform is called Flipgrid that I used last year, you can go to flipgrid.com slash French parent, and you'll see a video of me on there. You can respond to that video or record your own video and include it on the topic there. You can introduce yourself to me. You can ask me any question in the world that you want. You can um, even interact with each other. Like if someone does upload a video, you can view their video and like it or comment on it or record a video response, just so you get a feel for um, one of the tools that I plan to use a lot to show that we're trying our best to uh, actually communicate in French this year, um, as always. So give that a go, flipgrid.com. The password is French parent. That's all I've got for you. I so look forward to starting off this year, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in person soon. Au revoir.